Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Thank God. It's time to read Bible. Let's continue to read Genesis chapter 6. We will start from verse 9 today. We read earlier that marriage of mankind was mixed up. Human race live in flesh, and every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord's heart was troubled, so he decided to bring judgment to the earth. While human beings on the earth are corrupting, Noah found favor in the eyes of the law. Verse 9. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. Noah was the tenth generation. Because of man's fall and Satan's temptation, the world was in darkness and depravity. But Noah was very different. This is what's described in Bible. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. It's not easy to walk faithfully with God. His ancestor Enoch walked faithfully with God 300 years. God took him away so he didn't see death. It tells that the only way for human to avoid death is to walk faithfully with God. But the path that God set for Noah was different from his ancestor, Enoch. From Enoch, we see how mankind can avoid death. But from Noah, God wants us to see how the whole family can be safe in God's judgment. During the time Noah walked faithfully with God, Bible recorded that he was a righteous man. That is, his actions and behaviors were all good. He was impeccable in front of God, all men. Bible also recorded that he was blameless among the people of his time. Noah lived 600 years, overlapping with his grandfather Methuselah. Methuselah himself was a testimony. God's judgment would come after he died. So Noah lived his whole entire life till 600 years old in the light of God's judgment. As he saw that Methuselah was getting older and older, he knew that the day of judgment was getting closer and closer. When Noah was 480 years old, God set the time period of 120 years. Maybe God revealed his heart to Noah. He had his oldest son, Shem, when he was 502 years old. Then he had Ham and Japheth. As, he reco as recorded in verse 10, Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The meaning of Shem is name, which tells that God remembered the tribe of Shem. Later on, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who God chose, all came out of the tribe of Shem. The meaning of Ham was warm or hot. The meaning of Japheth was expansion. These three sons were mankind on the earth after the flood. They were fruitful and increased in number fill the earth. The offspring of Ham went south and west. The offspring of Shem went east and, and Japheth went north. Shem became the ancestor of Asian. Ham became the ancestor of African. And Japheth became ancestor of European. Noah had his three sons after he knew God's will to use judgment to destroy the earth. The difference between Noah and his ancestors were. According to the record of Genesis chapter 5, Noah's ancestors basically lived and then had children. It didn't record anything they did. When it got to Noah, because the judgment was coming, God needed Noah to become someone who worked with him. Thus he not only was a righteous man, a blameless man, and a man walked faithfully with God, he walked one step ahead of his ancestors. Became someone, he became someone working with the law. How to co-work with the law? We can look at Noah's work from what's recorded in New Testament. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 5 says, If he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its ungodly people, but protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness, and seven others. Based on what is recorded in Genesis 6, Noah's time was an ungodly age. It was a time that human beings were in their flesh. 
God had already set the date of judgment. At the same time, God also protected the eight people in Noah's family. Noah's life was described as following. Noah was a preacher of righteousness. When he knew that judgment was decided, he became a preacher of righteousness. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 7 mentioned that by faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is keeping with faith. By faith, Noah, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, built an ark to save his family. By faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. This is New Testament's view on Noah. Just as it is said in verse 5, He was a righteous man because he had faith. He was a blameless among the people of his time because he was a man walking faithfully with God. Verse 11 Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all the people on the earth had corrupted their ways. The earth had developed for 1,500 years from Adam's time. The spirit of mankind died. The soul was corrupt. Because the sons of, man, the sons of God married the daughters of human, the bodies of mankind were mixed up. It was no longer the same as what God created in the beginning. God saw how corrupt the earth had become. Verse 13. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. Noah walked faithfully with God, so God told Noah the judgment he was going to bring. Not only so, the first half of verse 14, So make yourself an ark of cypress wood. God also tasked Noah a job. He needed to build an ark. God wanted Noah to become someone walking with him. He, uh, we will read the detail inside the ark tomorrow. Today, we're going to look at how Noah lived a different life and had a different job in the corrupting age because of God's entrustment. Unlike his ancestors who had an offspring that could represent them and then continue to have sons and daughters and then die. For Noah, God not only wanted him to walk, faith, to walk faithfully with him, but also wanted him to walk with him to build an ark on the earth. The size of the ark is very big. As of, as of chapter 6, Gen Genesis didn't record any rain. And of course, there had never been any flood. But God asked Noah to build an ark, a very big ark. Bible didn't say how long it took Noah to build the ark. But with the size of the ark, and also there were only eight people in Noah's family, it would take at least tens of the years. The plan of building the ark might have started at the age of 480 years old when God revealed his heart to Noah. In order to build the ark, he had three sons. The three sons grew up and got married. These became the business of their family, building a gigantic thing on the dry ground with, with cypress wood. That is the ark. When others were busy with eating, drinking, having fun, and indulging in their own desires, this family became a very different family. This family became an opposite testimony of the society at the time. They not only had testimony, but also preached righteousness to the people. What was the righteousness that they preached? Maybe they told people that because of the corruption of the human being, God's judgment would be coming soon. Maybe they preach it for 120 years. Did anybody listen to them? No, not even one. Noah's family might have become laughing stock for others at the time. They built the ark faithfully according to God's command. It is unbelievable that they were building a big boat on the dry ground during a time that had never had flood. This family was out of the place at the time. They were ridiculed by others. 
although they repeatedly preach God's righteousness and ask people to give up their corrupting and indulging life, the more they preach to people according to God's will, the more they were looked at by others as insane. Dear brothers and sisters, according to God's revelation, Jesus Christ will return one day to marry his bride, which is church. There will be tribulation before his return. Just as Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 24, from verse 37 to verse 39, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That's how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. This is what Jesus said to his children. As we can see, this world is getting more and more evil. The immoral things have been increasing. And it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Dear brothers and sisters, if you sound out of place when you are with your friends and co-workers, think about Noah. He spent such a long time building a big ark. He revealed in front of people that he built the ark according to what God asked him to do, though they had never experienced flood before. Ark is the foreshadow of church in New Testament. When other people are going after fame, interest, and power in the world and enjoy the best life, you spend all your weekend at the church to study the Bible pray and seek with the saints and build up the church. Your friends and co-workers might have laughed at you and said that you were foolish. They may laugh that you didn't know how to enjoy your life and fight for more interest and power. What we experience today, no one had experienced. It's not an easy path to follow God. It's not an easy thing to work with God. As we have the revelation from God and understand in the holy words that God's tolerance will be over one day and judgment will come when Jesus returns. When we're willing to live a life that is sober and awake in waiting, you will experience what, what Noah experienced when he built the ark, the despise, mocking, and insult from others. Do we have the mind as Noah to walk with God? and work with God, and live a life that has testimony of God. Let's pray together. Lord, in this end time, we read how Noah could build the ark in his time and work with God. At the end, they became a family who went through judgment but was saved. Lord, please pour down the grace to our church. We all know that this world is evil. We should be, we should be like Noah speed up to build up the church because the day of your return is near help me to live a holy life in front of you and live a life waiting for your return pray in jesus name